what is going on guys welcome back to another video of music streaming application in android studio in last video we have integrated the firebase and successfully got the categories of the songs if you click on any categories it will list all the songs and we have all the songs details that are cover image title subtitle and the url of the song in this video we will implement the media player so that we can play all the songs in our application so let's get back to the project So to play the media in our application, we can use ExoPlayer library. This is very powerful library for media player. I have already uploaded one dedicated video on ExoPlayer. You can watch in my channel. In this video also, we are going to integrate ExoPlayer so that we can play the media. So let's go to Google and add the ExoPlayer library. Three. Go to this website. And you can see here getting started. And copy the dependencies from here. In the project, go to build scripts, build at gradle. Here you can paste, we have already added glide. Here we will paste the exo player. Need to give brackets. Click on sync now. So exo player library is downloaded. You can close this now. Now what we will do, we will create a singleton class for the exo player. Why singleton? Because we need one instance only. So whenever we click on this song, it should play this song and whenever we click on this song, it should stop that and start playing this one. It should not play both simultaneously. So for that we will use singleton. So how we will create a class? Let's go to our package, Kotlin class. Let's name it my exo player and make it an object class. Now here we will create some method. Before that we need some variable that will be exo player. That is the instance of exo player. So exo player make it nullable and initialize it with null. So we need exo player. Second thing we need is song. So whatever the current song we are playing. So let's name it current song. That will be song model. And let's say it will be also null. So here we have exo player and the current song. Whatever we are clicking. Now we will create one method get instance. So that it will return the exo player instance. We can use it anywhere it will return exo player name it instance now we'll create another method for playing the audio so what we will name let's say start playing and we require song for that so whenever we are calling this method from anywhere we need a song model so which song we need to play so let's pass that song song model so we require song now in this method we'll start playing so how we will assign the url of this song to the exo player we need the instance first so let's initialize it exo player equals to exo player dot builder for builder we need context as well so let's get context from here as well and pass the context dot build so we'll get the exo player instance but every time when we start playing it should not create new instance so for that we'll check exo player equals to equals to null then only do this so if it is null then it will create the new instance if we have already it won't create now what we will do we will assign the song to the current song so it will store over here so whenever we have url in the current song so dot url then we will do if it is not null then we'll start playing the media so how we will play it we have to assign the media item first so let's create media item from the url so media item dot from uri and that will be this we got the media item now we'll assign it to exo player so exo player dot set media item that will be media item so it is null one so once we set the media item exo player dot prepare it will start preparing and exo player dot play so in this way we have initialized exo player we have assigned the media item it started preparing and then it will play that's it now our song will play now what we will do we'll call this method whenever we click on this list so let's go to the songs list adapter here we have the song we are assigning title subtitle and image view now what we will do binding dot root whenever we click on that song dot set on click listener so what we will do we'll just call this method so my exo player dot start playing context will be binding dot root dot context and song model will be song that's it so whenever we click on any song it will start playing so let's run and test either it is playing or not so if you click on any song let's click on this so it started playing So our song is already started playing. If we click on another song, if we again, look, I was going to go easy on. 
So you might have noticed if we click on one song again and again, it is started playing Look, again. I was I'm so it should not happen. So whenever we click on one song and again we click on that song, it should not restart. So for that, what we will do here, what is happening when we get the song? And song is not equal to song. So whatever the song we are receiving, if it is currently playing, we will not do these things. So if it is not equal to song, then only do these things. I will cut it out and paste it inside. Here we can write it's a new song. So start playing. So that's it. So with this, if we click again and again in one song, it will not start playing. Now our songs are playing, but in the background because we have called this method, it started playing. So in the UI, we have to show something to the user because if the media is played, we have to show the time, we have to show the pause button, we have to show, we have to show forward, backward, we have to show the entire UI. So how we will do that? So we'll create a new activity where we will show the UI of the player. So what we will do from this exo player, we will get all the things and that we will show in the UI. So let's create new activity for that. New activity, empty views activity. Let's name it player activity. So it will be the player. Click on finish. So let's go to design view, split. Now here we'll design the player activity. We'll design minimalistic. Here I will use linear layout. We will align item vertically. So orientation vertical. Background will be our black background. We are making dark. Padding let's say 16 dp all sides. Gravity will be center horizontal. Now let's add one text that will be match parent wrap content. Text will be now playing. Text color will be white. And gravity let's say center. So it will show now play. Now below this we will add cover image. Below that we'll add title, subtitle and then we'll show the UI. For that I will use image view, size 140dp, 140dp, ID will be song cover image view. So this is the image view, let's give margin bottom here 16dp and below this image view we'll add text view. So text view, wrap content, wrap content, text size will be 22sp. This will be the song name so let's make it tools text for song name text color will be white margin top will be 16 dp text style bold and id will be song song title text view so here it will be title let's copy this paste it below for subtitle so song subtitle text view let's remove bold thing margin let's make 8 dp text size let's decrease text size as well so tool text will be album whatever the album it will be so it will look like this here cover song name and the album name now below this we will add one so below this there will be player view so for that exo player already provides player view so we have this ui player view width will be match parent height will be uh, let's give fixed height 200 dp margin top 8 dp and one more property we will do hide on touch will be false so it will not hide the controllers and show timeout zero so it will not automatically hide the controller and id will be player view so you can make your own ui as well in exo player you can get everything you can pause the media you can play the media you can skip the media you, you can do next you can do everything you want with the exo player exo player provides the ui we are using the same ui so that's it now let's go to player activity and enable the binding first activity player binding binding equals to activity player binding dot inflate layout inflator and binding dot root now in player activity what we will do we'll assign all the values to the views for image view as well as text view and the player ui whenever we come in player activity first thing we will check if the media is playing so for that i will check my exo player dot dot current song we can check current song let's go so here let's create another method function get current song so here song model and then we'll return current song so in player activity we'll get the current song dot get current song that means if song is there it will not be null if it is there then we'll do something what we will do we'll first get the exo player instance so for that i will create variable here exo player so whenever we have current song what we will do binding dot song title text view dot text equals to title so the song title it will come over here so binding dot song subtitle text view dot text equals to subtitle and also the cover image for cover image i will use songs list adapter so i will copy from here 
and paste it over here in this way in song cover image view it will put the cover url but we will make it circle so so we will remove this and make circle crop so it will make circular image now we have to come to now whenever we click on the song list we will come to this player activity and test now we can test the application either we are getting these things or not so for that we have to come to player activity so whenever we click on any song over here we have done start playing we will go to player activity so for that we need context so it dot context dot start activity so so intent it dot context and then we'll go to player activity class dot java so in this way it will start playing and then it will navigate to player activity and in player activity it will show the data let's run and test click on english i'll click on any song it is started playing and we have the ui where we have cover title and subtitle click on back it play this song so it is working so we have assigned title subtitle and image now we'll assign player view so how we'll assign player view from this instance we'll get the instance and then we'll assign so here what we will do exo player equals to my exo player dot get instance and it won't be null because we have the song so with this exo player we'll assign it to the player ui so how we'll do that so binding dot player view dot player equals to exo player so this player view will know that what media we are playing and what to show so it will automatically show everything now if i run you can see we have the ui and it is working pause play you can forward you can, you can see the buffering as well over here you can increase the speed from here if you play another song so we have the ui so song is being played we have the cover title subtitle and everything but here i want one animation i have one gif image i'll put around this and it will show like it is playing so let's add that how to do that if you see over here i have one media playing gif so this is the playing media so it is a gif it will animate automatically so what i will do i will copy this and in the android resource drawable i will paste it name it media playing it's okay click on okay now in player activity where we have this image view here i will add that so it should show outside the image view so how we'll do that i will use frame layout for that wrap content wrap content and inside this frame layout i will add this image view cut it now in this frame layout i will add another image view let's make it a bit larger 220 dp 220 dp the id will be song a gif image view let's say and let's give gravity as center to both of the images so it will show in center so this is our image view this is our animated view now let's assign the gif view to this image view in player activity we are using glide so glide provide a beautiful method that is glide we can copy this paste it so with gif song gif image view to song gif image view what we we'll load r dot drawable dot media playing so we we'll load the media playing from drawable to this gif view let's see how it looks you can see it is started and animation is looking good but when you pause it is always animating so we have to hide it when we paused and when we play it should again show so for that what i will do first i will go to that gif view and make it visibility as invisible so at first it will be invisible when we start playing it should be visible so here i will create one method so function so gif let's say here i will pass a boolean value so whatever the boolean value it will be if so then binding dot song gif image view dot visibility will be view dot visible else it will be invisible 
so this method will handle so when we have to show and hide we have some method in exo player we'll create listener variable player listener let's name it and create object of player dot listener so here it should be equals to now here we can implement some method so what method will implement on is playing changed so whenever the playing is changed it means whenever we start playing or we stopped we paused or we play so it will call this method so here we can do we have the is playing option if it is playing it will be true otherwise it will be false so from here we can call so gif is playing and this listener variable we have created but we have to assign it to exo player instance so here we will do exo player dot add listener will pass player listener so in this way let's see animation is started if you pause it will be invisible play again visible if you go over here it is not playing it won't be visible and once it is played it is visible so so this listener we have added here we have to remove it in on destroy method so i will create one on destroy override method and here exo player dot remove listener player listener so whenever we destroy we will remove the listener so one more thing you might have noticed whenever i come to this activity the ui controls is not showing so when i click on here it is showing and it is not going anywhere but whenever i come to this activity it is not displayed so for that what i will do so exo player has one method binding dot player view dot show controller so it will always show the controller this is unstable method it is okay to use it will show error over here but it will run so whenever we run the application now click controller is automatically displayed so if we check for podcast also even if it is a long podcast it will start buffering and play so this is the best library to be used for media player so till now we have implemented the categories which are coming dynamically if you click on song the song is being played we have created nice and minimal ui with the animation as well so this is working so most important feature of our application is working we are listing out the song dynamically and we are able to play them so that's all for this video in next video what we will do we will add some topics like trending like classic like all time hits this will be the different topics so here as you can see we have categories here we will have trending section where we will have list of trending songs only like let's say top 10 songs and we will have another topic and all the topics will be dynamically you don't have to update the app you just have to update it in firebase and then it will automatically be reflected in the ui that will implement in next video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you don't forget to hit the subscribe button before going see you in the next video bye bye